Rangers' Europa League hopes ended last night in a 3-1 aggregate defeat to Slavia Prague, losing the away leg 2-0. But the big story emerged after the game. Rangers manager Steven Gerrard saying that his player Glenn Kamara was racially abused by Andre Kudela of Slavia Prague. We saw players reacting very angrily to something that Kundela had said. Uh, Slavia Prague said in a statement afterwards that it was uh, purely swearing, quote, that effing guy. To discuss this and the fallout too, I'm joined by Bailey Keogh. Uh, Bailey, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, just a very quick sketch of, of what has happened and what the reaction has been uh, from Rangers and from Slavia Prague. So yeah, thank you for having me, Nicole. Um, we saw yesterday the scenes. Uh, Rangers were 2-0 down. They were down to nine men. Um, and it was just a complete disaster almost. It was just crazy. Uh, Kudela uh, seemed to say something in Kamara's ear, which I think it was clear. It was very predictive. And after the game, it was complete mayhem. Apparently, uh, Glenn Kamara actually punched Kudela for the racist incident. Uh, Gerard came out to slam Slavia Prague and he came out to also put uh, UEFA in the limelight, he wants them. He wants them to do something. He doesn't want them to brush this under the carpet, as we've seen they have done with previous incidents. He has also led to Slavia Prague uh, denying it. Slavia Prague almost playing as the victims in this situation, saying that Rangers were such a dirty team that almost the racism was okay. But then they uh, used it almost as to say the white in our in our uh, badge means that we don't condone racism. But that they did not clearly did not uh, deny the actual racial, racial allegations in the game. So it was just a complete mayhem, really. Yes, we saw uh, Slavia Prague saying that it was uh, outrageous that their player and one of their team captains was was accused of of racism. You've touched on it there. Um, we we haven't heard a statement from UEFA yet. Uh, they seem to be far more um, focused on the UEFA League, on the UEFA uh, Europa League draw and the Champions League draw that's coming out uh, later today. Um, just in terms of the in terms of the protocol, we saw the players didn't go off the pitch. We saw Stephen Gerrard uh, said that he talked to Kamara and the rest of the players, and they didn't want to go off. I this isn't on Rangers. This isn't on Glenn Kamara. I think it's important to say that it's not. This is on Slavia. This is on the perpetrators, and it's on UEFA. But did is there an, was there a bit of an opportunity missed there to make a statement? Of course, I think yeah, you're right, Nicole. There was an opportunity missed for sure because. Nothing will be done. And I feel like this is just the same incident we see it time and time again. There's a, there's a upheaval, there's uproar on social media, and then suddenly it will just go quiet. Um, we saw with, for example, England, Bulgaria, when they were threatening to um, go off the pitch, but they stayed on the pitch, and then suddenly it was brushed under the carpet. We saw with P this season even, PSG, Pesakshir, there was incident, there was a uh, there was call of racism there, the force official. They, they came off the pitch, and they played the next day, and I feel like there was more of a reaction there was more being done you wait for finally brought to the store saying you must do something now so I feel like yeah the opportunity was definitely missed but again as you said it's not on Rangers on Glenn Kamara it's a personal feeling I I feel like it's his decision if the game should be stopped or not because he was the victim of the racial abuse so it's more on Glenn Kamara but opportunity you could say opportunity was definitely missed yeah um I, I just just finally um do we expect? Do you expect UEFA to 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 take action? And if so, what do what action do you think uh, that will, that they will take? Do you think there will be any serious consequences for Slavia Prague? I almost feel like UEFA will use the excuse that there was no substantial evidence to uh, punish Slavia Prague the way they should be punished. We clearly saw the way Kudela went into Kamara's ear that there was some racial abuse. You don't just go and whisper into someone's ear. Like if they were, if he wasn't trying to hide anything, but as we've seen with PSG in the first year, the fourth official this season, it took three months just to say he is suspended till the end of the season. Like there's no need. There's a, a racist in investigation does not take three months. So and we saw how light the uh, race the um, suspension was for Bulgaria fans with the English situation last season. So the punishment will definitely be light unless there's substantial evidence. UEFA will give. Uh, I can only see UEFA giving a uh, minimal suspension for Slavia Prague. <laughs>